So thank you very much for letting us in here because um, I don't think even you realise that this is the first time that it has ever been allowed a, a live broadcast for, for television from I here. I found that out watching ITV a minute ago. <laughs> it's told me that and I thought so. Well, I hope it's right. No, no one, we've done, I've done an interview in here but obviously never, never live. I mean I always think it's amazing when people come in here I always tell them what an amazing room this is because of course this is the room where in 1940 Churchill sat in this chair and decided to fight on against Hitler, so some pretty extraordinary things have, have, uh, have happened here. Yes, well, if, uh, if walls could talk, that's, uh, that's for sure. But more importantly, I mean, one, one of the things that we're here um, is, uh, is about Tech Santa, it's about giving. And, mm. and uh, the first question I wanted to ask you was whether or not you find it surprising that b because times are tough, and, and, and we mm. have had tough times over the past few years, that people still give to charity at this time of the year. But we are an incredibly generous country. I think when they do the surveys, they find that uh, United Kingdom and actually the Republic of Ireland are the most generous countries, not only in Northern Europe, but sometimes in the whole world amongst the most generous when it comes to giving of time, giving to charity, volunteering, helping strangers. It's a really important part of our country and something we should be very proud of. And that, you know, whether it's Ebola in West Africa, floods on the other side of the world, problems here at home, people are incredibly generous and we should do everything we can to encourage that. And Tech Santa is a, a, a great example. One of the things that you, uh, you're pioneering and, uh, and are right behind is Giving Tuesday. So how, so how does that work? Why well, this was something this? that started actually in America. I think it was partly a reaction to the sort of crazed internet shopping that takes place before Christmas. And I think it's a good moment to remember that, of course, Christmas is about giving to family and friends and, and, and buying gifts and the rest of it. But it's a moment also to think of others and to encourage giving. And Tech Santa now, well, because you've been going overnight and uh, now into Tuesday, you're, you're firmly in Giving Tuesday. Well, so the, congratulations. The giving Tuesday is not about also giving, uh, just giving money. You can give, you can give your time, time as well, yeah. uh, which is a, a sort of an entirely separate thing. If money is hard, then and you have a, mm. a, a, some sort of talent or gift or just time itself, then you can give. Well, I think particularly when loneliness is such an issue, when there are so many people living alone who don't necessarily have families surviving or there to look after them. Actually, reaching out and helping other people is, is hugely important. So we're doing something today, actually, in this very room. This will be a first as well. When the Cabinet meeting starts, instead of the normal start to a Cabinet meeting, the nurse, the chief nurse from St Thomas's is coming over and training us all as dementia friends. Uh. So every member, I'm already, I've already done that, but every member of the Cabinet by the end of today will be a, a trained dementia friend. And I think it's really important because it's such a challenge in our country. So many people are having Alzheimer's and other conditions. And as well as the research we need to fund, as well as the improvements in the health service we need. We also need our communities to be more dementia friendly so that everybody knows how to handle and how to help people uh, with, with these conditions. Alzheimer's, of course, one of the six charities that uh, Indeed. Are, are, are benefiting from Tech Santa this year. And I'm, I have to ask you, um, are the government helping us this year? We are. We've got some proposals which you can put on the table this morning. So okay. the first 5,000 people who uh, join up to volunteer uh, on your site, we will give five pounds for each one of those. And the first 5,000 people that give, we will give five pounds for each of those, so it's a maximum of fifty thousand pounds. So I hope that's a small contribution to uh, to help you that. on your way. Thank you. Uh, you mentioned giving up time because also, I mean, your wife Samantha gives up quite a lot of her time, doesn't she? Yeah, she goes to a, a homeless charity called the, the Passage, which. Um, feeds homeless people in the morning so she goes off and does that and also a bit of mentoring as well which which I've tried to do in the past and I hope to do more of in the future I think one of the best things people can do if you've you know you've got some skills to just try and transfer those skills onto people who haven't had all the opportunities and maybe the education that, that you've had and I think particularly something politicians are quite good at actually is helping people with whether it's interview skills or CVs or just giving people a bit of confidence and um, Sam does a bit of that and I've done a bit in the past and hope to do a bit more in the future. Well your uh, your time is much appreciated today I mean I'm in a I am in a bit of a sort of takeover mood I'm feeling I'm quite, staying right here I'm, I'm feeling, not moving I'm, I'm very feeling worried quite comfortable if I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, you can stay on for cabinet <laughs> yeah you thank you really but yeah uh, you're very kind thank you very much indeed right back to the oh, studio sure. lovely stuff Philip you can't stay there you've got to get back and get into your kilt for Lorraine don't forget that <laughs> and you know I went down for four days and we ended up between takes singing like what the car just what, frozen anything. or something no she, not frozen <laughs> <laughs> us and everyone